Mixed reaction tonight about a bathroom bill that turned into a far-reaching law that reverses progress on discrimination against the LGBT community. Last night, North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory signed that bill into law. It now prohibits communities from protecting against discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity, as well as what bathroom transgender people use. And your side's Chris Horn has reaction for us tonight. Chris? Tom, this state law nullifies a Charlotte ordinance that would have given transgendered people the ability to use the bathroom that corresponds with their gender identity. In an effort to block it, the legislature went into special session Wednesday in Raleigh, and by late last night, the measure was already law. Governor Pat McCrory, a former mayor of Charlotte himself, says it preserves privacy and basic etiquette. But opponents say it sets back progress on LGBT rights by decades. Senate Republicans in Raleigh passed a new state anti-discrimination law unanimously. Senate Democrats, however, walked out of the chamber in protest and did not even vote. Governor McCrory says he was compelled to sign it into law out of basic decency. I feel very strongly that we, as governor, I need to protect the basic expectations of privacy that all individuals should be allowed to have, especially in this sanctity of a restroom. Restroom accommodations became a wedge issue between McCrory and his opponent for re-election, State Attorney General and Democrat Roy Cooper. Cooper says the new law is discrimination, pure and simple, and that it will harm North Carolina families and its economy. People who are transgender say the new law will cause them grief and ridicule. People are going to freak out because I look like a guy. People are going to be like, why is there a boy in here? And they're going to cause a scene like they did when I was younger. A similar Virginia case involves Gavin Grimm. The 16-year-old is in a legal battle with Gloucester High School. Grimm was born female but identifies as male and wanted to use the boys' bathroom. His case is now before a federal appeals court. The new North Carolina law exempts transgender people who've transitioned to the opposite sex if they get their birth certificate changed. Reaction to the law already coming, the NCAA, along with larger employers in North Carolina, are already expressing concern about the law. They include American Airlines, Wells Fargo, Biogen, and Red Hat. In the newsroom, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.